Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Windows Workflow. Our viewer is eager to learn how to host their Windows Workflow as a web service. Let's dive into the details. The viewer has created a sample workflow for processing leave requests and is currently self-hosting it. They want to know the necessary steps to host this workflow as a web service using the SVC format. Let's explore how to make this transition smoothly. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To host a Windows workflow as a web service, we first need to create a workflow service. In our example, we have a class called 25 Leave Request that defines the workflow. Inside the getInstance method, we define the workflow activities. We start by creating variables for employee ID and request ID, and then we set up a receive activity to handle incoming leave requests. Next, we add a send reply activity to send back the request ID after processing the leave request. This is crucial for confirming the operation's success. Now, we need to self-host the workflow service. In the main method, we create an instance of our workflow and set up a workflow service host with a specified address. Finally, run the application. The service will listen for incoming requests on the specified address. Make sure to handle exceptions and close the host properly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To host a Windows workflow as a web service, start by creating a WCF workflow service application. This gives you a workflow designer for easy drag and drop activity placement. When you run the project in Visual Studio, it automatically generates a WSDL for your service operations and opens the WCF test client tool. You can create a service that handles multiple methods using the pick branch activity. Each branch will have a receive and send reply activity for specific operations. The WCF test client will display the multiple operations exposed from your workflow, allowing you to test them easily. This process can get complex, but these steps will help you get started with hosting workflow-based WCF services. And that's it, guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.